All right, I'd like to introduce you to my 1985 Mercury Cougar um, base model. Uh, it's just a beautiful car. We got it about a year ago. Uh, the story behind it's quite interesting. This used to be owned by the Teeswater Funeral Home. It was their lead procession car. Uh, they had that for a few years. Um, it eventually went to the, the uh, owners of the funeral home themselves for their personal car. And I don't know, it just kind of got uh, locked away for quite a while. And um, someone bought it in 2019 uh, at an auction from the family's estate, uh, the funeral homeowner's estate. Uh, they had it for a year and just kept it in a carpeted garage. And uh, for some reason he just wanted to try something different and he uh, the owner let me have it for for really very little and I've had it for a year now. It's just a beautiful machine. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about it as we walk around. Uh, the lines on this car are just beautiful, beautiful curves. Um, just excellent styling. Um, the boxiness of the 70s cars is, is, uh, is really uh, gone here. It's uh, got a lot more curves. Um, the color is a uh, light sage metallic, distinct color, uh, unique to this particular year. Uh, also had a, a special finish which, as you can see, really lasts down through the decades. Um, styled really nice at the back. It's got that almost vertical back window, uh, which, is, which is quite neat. Uh, gives you a, a sense of space inside and a very unique style. Just a little bit of a, a hump in the trunk there um, to be a style item but also to uh, throw back to the days when the tire would be at the back in, in the old, old cars. Uh, you'll notice there is no high center mounted brake light. That wasn't uh, that wasn't put in at, in 1985. That wasn't standard at that time. Um, let's go around the other side here. I just love the little thin white walls on these. It's just a nice accent. Uh, the chrome touches are just really spot on. Um, in that uh, back panel, they've got the Cougar emblem, which is a real nice touch. I love these little little touches they have all around the car. Uh, nice chromed side view mirrors. And uh, of course at the front uh, they put this uh, Cougar decal right in. Uh, instead of a, a normal hood ornament that sticks out, it's just right on the front there. Now let's go take a look inside now. This car, when I bought it, had uh, just under 73,000 kilometers original. It was just an immaculate shape. Everything's original on it. It's just uh, uh, beautiful. It's got this two-tone interior, beige and brown. Uh, lots of room. Not as much uh, headroom as you get in some newer cars, but uh, I'm six foot three. I have no problem in this at all. Of course, no airbags. I hate those things anyhow. Uh, I love the thin steering wheel. Uh, they just don't make them like that anymore. This is a base model, as I said, so there's no air conditioning. It's just got a standard AM FM radio. Uh, love the analog clock there. But even though this is just the base model, the funny thing about this is it's got a digi dash and it's got the power side view mirrors, which you can access there in the center. It's just really funny, but I guess that was just standard on all these. And if we look at the back seat, it's a little tight, but there's room for three. No shoulder belts, just the uh, lap belts. 
They didn't have the shoulder belts in, at this time. And it's a fair bit of room. Headliner is just beautiful. Uh, it, it was just so well maintained. We're just so thankful that we could come across a car like this. I'm just gonna put the key in and you can see the dash. So that's what it looks like there. Gives you your, your, uh, gives you your speed and your basic dials, everything you need. And now this is a carbureted car, so when you start it up, you don't just turn the key, you do have to pump it just once, and that's good in the, in the warm weather. Uh, in the cold weather, you need to adjust the carburetor for that, and you might need to do a little bit more to get it primed. This one, I've already primed it, so we'll start it up, and you can, you can hear it. Runs nice. There you go under the hood. It's a 3.8 liter V6. Like I said, carbureted. One of the last carbureted ones that they made. In 1985, it was carbureted in Canada. If this was in the US, it'd be fuel injected. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of my 1985 Mercury Cougar. A beautiful car. Uh, designed so well and uh, run, running still so well in 2021. A real testimony to the care and the uh, workmanship. Anyhow, have a great day. God bless.